Hello, Homestead. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Hello, Homestead. It's Friday, December 7th, and time for an all-new episode of HHS In-Depth. I'm Ellie Davis. And I'm Ashton Hackman. Welcome to another edition of the show. On today's episode, you'll see stories over our school's newest resource officer, Officer Robertson, where you'll learn a little bit about who he is. We'll bring you a story over the important internship class meeting taking place immediately after winter break. You'll learn about a new course Mr. Beer is teaching this semester, travel writing, and see how things are going so far this year. Carson Clymer is back with the countdown, taking a look at our wrestling team, as well as hearing from our student section leaders about tonight's game. And there will be an all new two and a half weathermen, as well as an all new laptop lingo with Drew Persinger. We'll bring you all those stories and much more, so stay tuned for today's episode of HHS In Depth. We begin today's show with a story over the new school resource officer here at Homestead. Reporter Andre Santliver recently caught up with Officer Robertson to get to know him a little better. Within the halls of Homestead, there is a new school resource officer. My name is Bill Roberson. I'm a police officer with the Allen County Police Department. I came on this department and started my career out in civil. Uh, from there I went to transport and then to warrants, and now I'm here. A large portion of his daily job is to help students as well as monitor many other activities. At Homestead, I'm a school resource officer here. Basically, I'm charged with keeping the peace here at Homestead and the other Southwest Allen County schools. I am also a law enforcement instructor, so I can teach general police curriculum, including uh, CPR and TASER. Officer Roberson is excited to experience Homestead and learn more about its students. Looking forward to uh, making positive relationships with the teachers, students, and other staff members here, cultivating those relationships and helping out any way that I can. If you see Officer Roberson in the hallways, be sure to say hello. Reporting for HHS In Depth, I'm Andre Sentliver. Biomedical Science Club will be hosting two speakers from the Indiana State Police Laboratory on Wednesday, December 12th in room 215. One of the speakers is a forensic scientist in the biology and DNA office, and the other is a fingerprint analyst from the Indiana State Police. The meeting will end by 3.30 and snacks and drinks will be provided. Students participating in this year's A Taste of Homestead should attend a brief meeting after school Monday, December 10th in room 611, Senior Peepers class. We will continue planning this year's A Taste of Homestead. All students are invited to participate in this year's event. Students, would you like to swim in the Blue Lagoon, hike on a glacier, walk on black sand beaches, stand on the mid-ocean ridge, and walk behind waterfalls? If so, then go to an informational meeting about a trip to Iceland in 2020. The meeting will be next Wednesday, December 12th at 5.30 p.m. in room 208. Bring your parents and find out how you can attend the trip. Pick up a flyer in room 208 this week for a chance to win $100 towards your trip. Need to de-stress before final exam season? Set aside studying for your Herculean exams and go watch Hercules with the Latin Club instead. Join them for snacks and a movie after school today in Mrs. Beckman's room, room 604B. Can't make it to the movie? Then go out to the Latin Club meeting on Tuesday, December 11th, where you can escape from breakout boxes and celebrate the Roman holiday, Saturnalia. Join Young Progressives and Young Americans for Freedom for a joint meeting this Friday, December 7th, for a discussion on immigration. The meeting will be held in the IMC from 2.45 to 3.30. All are welcome and snacks will be provided. The Homestead Academic Team is looking for members for the decathlon team. Are you competitive and like to be right? Are you smarter than your GPA may indicate? If so, decathlon is for you. 
Decathlon brings a team of A, B, and C students together to compete against other schools in an academic throwdown. And as you know, participation in academic teams looks great on a college or work application. If you are interested, stop by Mr. Cole Glazer's room, room 520, or send an email to him by Tuesday, December 11th. Each year, a popular way to earn credit at Homestead is to take part in the internship course. Here's reporter Jessica Walter to tell you about a meeting you can't miss immediately after winter break if you want to be in the class next year. One of the many programs that Homestead offers to senior students is the internship program, where students can get credit for working in a possible future career field. The internship program is one of our um, co-op type programs here uh, in conjunction with senior experience and strategic marketing. Um, basically, it's designed to uh, allow students um, to get an, an upfront or um, behind the scenes look, I guess if you will, of a particular career that they're interested in going to school for. There are many benefits to the internship program, primarily the opportunity for students to get to know exactly what they want to do before going to college. They have to get eight and a half hours each week. Uh, traditionally it's unpaid, but we do have some interns that are paid. Uh, and one of the cool things about the program is sometimes, you know, you, you might think, oh, I want to get into medicine and you go and you're in a, in a C-section or something and um, you realize, oh, this is absolutely not for me at all. And that's a success because you're not wasting money in school or time um, pursuing something that eventually you're, you're not going to end up doing anyway. Students, anything they have an interest in, in their career and pursuing in the future can take an internship. Uh, the exciting part is because most of them are unpaid, a company is willing to take you as an intern and let you see what they do and experience that side of the business. Any current juniors who are interested in getting involved next year must attend an informational meeting to find out if the internship program is the right program for them the popularity is so high, we have to limit our numbers a little bit. Um, so there's a call out meeting on January 11th at 7.15 in room 303, which is um, directly behind student services. Uh, and even if you're kind of interested in, in the program and you wanna learn more about it, um, but you're not quite sure if you wanna do it, still show up because we can't accept anybody into the program that isn't at that meeting. Um, so the date, you'll get an email from Mrs. Lacklin on the date, every, every uh, junior will. It'll be on the announcements, and then it's also in the course description guide. Um, but you have to be at that meeting if you want to be considered for the program. If you are a current junior and are interested in interning next year, don't forget to mark your calendars for the meeting on January 11th. For HHS In-Depth, I'm Jessica Walter. Any freshman football player that did not receive their numerals at the end of the season banquet, please stop by the athletic office at door four as soon as possible to pick yours up. English teacher Mr. Beer is teaching a new course at Homestead this year called Travel Writing. To learn about what it is and how it's going this year, here's reporter Ethan Turner. At the end of last semester, English teacher Mr. Beer created a new English class called Travel Writing. This semester, the first students are taking the new class. Travel Writing is uh, a course that focuses on creative nonfiction. Um, so the reading, the writing, the analysis we do, uh, it is done through a genre um, that's called Travel Essays. Mr. Beer. Uh, he gives us assignments and we do have to follow the requirements, but it's mainly whatever you can write. So in the travel writing class, we basically read different types of travel literature and then we go on our own travel adventures and then we write about our travel experiences, either through a descriptive essay or an analysis of the travel experiences that we got. It's a lot of fun because you get to write about things that you normally don't get to write about in a normal English class. The class has been a huge success for its students who really enjoy the course. The class has been a lot of fun so far. Um, as I said, it focuses on uh, travel essays, and so, so far students have written about past trips that they've taken that have been transformative experiences for them. We also had students attend either the Johnny Appleseed Festival or the Middle Waves Music Festival or even a Friday night football game. Uh, it's about travel. Our first assignment was uh, like a summer assignment, what we kind of did over the summer. Um, and it's just, it's almost like a free writing and that's, that's kind of why I took it because I don't like to follow requirements and do uh, analysis or analysis, so that's why I took it. So I recommend taking this class because Mr. Beer is an amazing teacher um, and you kind of get introduced to a new form of writing you can write about your experiences and it's just it's different than other classes so it's a good taste of 
different courses that you can take at Homestead. Travel writing is a one semester course available for any juniors and seniors. For more information, contact your guidance counselor or Mr. Beer. Reporting for HHS In Depth, this has been Ethan Turner. And now it's time for an all new episode of Laptop Lingo with host Drew Persinger. Will you learn how to use the Follow Me printer? I'm sick. <laughs> 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 Welcome back to the Laptop Lingo, I'm Drew Persinger and we've got a really spicy one for you today because we're going to be talking about everybody's favorite printer, the Follow Me printer. So follow me if you will. The Follow Me printer can be pretty confusing if you don't know how to use it, but it's actually pretty simple. To begin, tap the OSA icon on the top of the printer screen. It will take you to a screen where you enter your normal username and password that you use for your laptop. When this is done, select the printing job that you want done, which shows the date you started the print. Finalize your selections and your paper will soon be printed. Enjoy your fresh new paper. Okay, so now you hopefully know how to use the Follow Me printer. And if you don't, I'm gonna have to come back here in like another two months to tell you how to use the same printer for the third time. Wow, won't that be fun? Yeah, it sure will. I'll see you next time when I do more talking about laptops, as usual. I'm Drew Bersinger. See you, Homestead. And now it's time for the weekend weather forecast. Here's an all-new Two and a Half Weatherman with Alex and Ethan. Hello, Homestead. I'm Alex Peters. And I'm Ethan Turner. As you can see, we're at a cabin in the middle of nowhere. That's because we're partway through our long journey to meet up with Santa Claus so we can gift the joy of weather forecasts to all the boys and girls of the world. Speaking of weather forecasts, here's this weekend's. Today we're going to be seeing partly cloudy skies with a high of 30 and a low of 20. Saturday is going to be partly cloudy as well with a high of 31 and a low of 23. Finally, Sunday is going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 35 and a low of 26. Well, that was your weekend weather forecast. Your quote of the week comes from Rally Jefferson who once said, Zooey Mama. I'm Ethan Turner. And I'm Alex Peters. See you next week, Homestead. And now Carson Clymer is back with the first edition of the countdown for winter sports season. This week you'll meet our wrestling team as well as hear from the student section leaders about tonight's big games. Hello Homestead and welcome into the first edition of the Countdown for Winter Sports. I'm Carson Clymer and this week we will showcase the wrestling team as they are starting off their season strong. The wrestling team has seen a lot of success early on this year as the upperclassmen and experienced wrestlers are helping out the new members to the team. The season has been going good, um, putting my nose to the grindstone, putting in a lot of work and so far it's been showing results. Um, team as a whole is developing steadily. I think it's been pretty great. Yeah, we've had a, uh, a lot of new wrestlers, so I feel like we've been doing pretty good as a team for having new wrestlers and really just trying to compete and do well against these teams that have some older wrestlers, but I think by the end of the year we'll really be having a lot of success. Along with wrestling for the team, individually some wrestlers on the team want to make it to state. Uh, my goal for this year is I want to place top eight in state, that's like the big goal, but I also tied this uh, falls in the season record last year and I want to break it this year. My personal goal is top five at state. I've been trying to qualify for state every year since I was a freshman, but this year it's uh, top five at state. Last year Homestead made a sectional run. This year their hope is to do the same. We definitely want to take sectionals again. Uh, we won sectionals last year. I think we have another good chance to do it this year. We got. Um, pretty much every weight class filled. Uh, team goals are the same. Uh, sectional titles again. We won one last year and I think we're in position to win another one this year. Good luck to the wrestling team who is back in action tomorrow at Plymouth. And now here are John and Josh with a video about the student section for tonight's SAC doubleheader for the boys and girls basketball teams. I think we can make that happen little buddy. Alright buddy, go up and tell Santa what you want from for the big game on Friday. Ho, ho, ho! And what do you want for this holiday season, buddy? Well, for the game on Friday at 7 o'clock versus Bishop Dwanger, I want everybody to show up and wear their holiday clothing. 
I will also want everybody to stay quiet for our silent night until seven points. And then finally, I want everybody to go crazy after that. This is one of the biggest games of the year, one of our biggest home games. Everybody needs to show up. I think we can make that happen this Friday. Awesome. Dad, what do you want? Hmm, what do I want? Send you from the land where palm trees sway. Hey, Seto. For the big game on Friday, I want Duaneo to show up because I want to be bigger and better and louder than Duaneo because I don't like them. You heard it here first, Homestead. Big game, Friday night at seven versus Dwanger. Silent night theme, stay silent until the first seven points. Let's go. Good luck to both the boys and girls basketball teams as they take on Bishop Dwanger tonight in an SAC doubleheader. And the boys are also in action tomorrow against New Haven. Good luck to all the swimmers and divers as they compete at home tomorrow. That'll do it for this week's edition of The Countdown. I'll see you back here next week where I will profile the boys' swim and dive teams. I'm Carson Clymer. Have a great weekend. Well, that wraps up this edition of HHS In-Depth. I'm Ellie Davis. And I'm Ashton Ackman. Thank you for watching today. Today, we leave you with a song exclusive to our radio station, The Point 91 FM. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you back here next week.